Hi there. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a Minecraft Java server. So the first thing we want to do is we want to download the Minecraft server. Now we can find that directly from minecraft.net. So this link will be in the video description. And once you get here, you can scroll around and you'll find this link here. So download Minecraft server 1181.jar. So I click that and it downloaded for me. Wonderful. Now, I like to put all of my Minecraft server stuff in a single folder. It just makes it nice and easy and keeps it organized. And my preference is to put it on the local C disk. So this, can, this PC, local disk, C. And here I'll create a new folder and I'll name it Minecraft-Server. This can really be named anything, but uh, make sure it's descriptive so that you can find it easy in the future. So let's also find where our download is. And we can find it here, server.jar, or here, and we can go ahead and drag into our newly created Minecraft-server folder. Wonderful. So the next thing we wanna do is we can even look, oh my gosh, this website, okay. So we wanna run this command. So let's go ahead and copy it. You might be like, how do you run the command? Uh, what we'll do is we'll create a Windows executable file. So We'll go here, right click, new, we'll say text document, and we'll call this run.bat. Now, you notice I called it run.bat. There's also this txt here, and there's also a type text document. If you don't see this .txt at the end, but you just see text document, you can go to this tab view, and then make sure you have file name extension checked. So with that, we can go ahead and press rename, go here and remove the .txt part. And we'll say yes, we wanna change the file. Next, we'll go ahead and press edit, and we'll resize this crazy window, uh, and you will paste that text in here. Now, the other thing we need to change is this file name and this text do not match, so we'll go ahead and rename this to server.jar. Okay, we will save that, and now if we double click it, we see some activity, and then it closes, and we have all these new files and folders. Now. This might not happen for you. If it doesn't happen for you, that probably means you have to install the latest version of Java. So this is also in the video description, this link, but we can go here, uh, scroll down, and you're gonna want it to download and install uh, this, folder, this file here. So Windows 64, MSI installer, download that, press next through it all. Uh, then once that's installed, you can come back here and you can try run up bad again. And hopefully this time it will generate all these files for you. If not, you can head to our Discord, so play.gg in this link, and ask for support and help. But let's assume that it did work. Uh, we have this eula.txt file. So what we want to do is we want to right click and press edit. And we will place false with true. So we agree with Microsoft's uh, end user license agreement. And we will then press run.bat again, and this time, this time we get more activity. Wonderful. So we can go ahead and open up our Minecraft game now, and we will try to connect to our server. Okay, so you can see here on the command line that we have preparing spawn area that has completed and we have done. So now that that's done, we should be able to say direct connect. And if there's anything there, clear it out and then type localhost. Awesome, we're able to join our world. Now, if you're not able to join your world, I would look into your antivirus programs, your firewalls, and make sure that they've opened up for Java and Minecraft. But we also can try this. Okay, so we're able to join locally, but none of your friends will be able to join the server, only you. So we can go and close Minecraft, and now we're gonna use a tool that I created called playit.gg. And this exists so that you can open up your local server, to the public so your friends can join. 
So we'll go ahead and follow the guide for Minecraft Java. So uh, can you start and run your server? Yes, we can. Are we able to connect locally? Yes. Okay, so now it wants us to download it. So we'll go ahead and download the Windows 64-bit version. And we shall run it. We're prompted to create an account. And we can see here a setup required. So I will say create a guest account. Uh, you can create an account later or you can create one now, but for now I will continue as a guest. We see waiting for player program. No tunnels found. We have downloaded the program. So now we'll wait for the program to connect. Now this might take a while. So I'm impatient, so we can go back here to the tab that was open for us, or we can just visit play.gg slash account, and we'll go ahead to the tunnels tab, which is also detailed here. And we will say we want a Minecraft Java server. And we tested earlier. Yes, we were able to connect with that. And we'll say add tunnel. And just like that, we are given this address. We go back to the play program and we can see the configuration has been updated. So let's go ahead and connect. So we'll open up Minecraft again. Okay, multiplayer. And then instead of connecting with the local address, we'll go ahead and paste in the plate address. And we'll give this a moment. And look at that. We are in our world. You can see here in the player program that we have connected. Awesome. So we're all set. Now you should be able to share this address with anyone and they should be able to join just like that. Thanks for watching.